Hey guys. Today we're diving into the electrifying world of diodes, specifically the Zener diode. A diode is an electronic component that primarily allows current to flow in one direction, from its anode to its cathode, while blocking current in the opposite direction. A Zener diode is a type of diode that allows current to flow in the forward direction like a standard diode, but also in the reverse direction, when the voltage exceeds a certain threshold known as the Zener breakdown voltage. Let's break it down. Imagine you have a sensitive electronic device. You don't want it to experience a higher voltage than it can handle. That's where our friend, the Zener diode, comes in. It acts as a voltage regulator, clamping down voltage to a desired level. Here's a fun experiment. We have a circuit with a 9-volt battery as the power source, a 1000-ohm resistor to control the electrical current, and a 5.1-volt Zener diode in reverse biased mode. When we measure the voltage with a multimeter, the Zener diode will have a voltage around 5.1 volt, and the resistor will have a voltage around 4.9 volt. As we'll observe shortly, the Zener diode will maintain a voltage close to 5.1 volts, regardless of increases in the power source. We will observe the Zener diode in action with the help of a breadboard and a multimeter. Begin by attaching the red jumper wire to the positive terminal of the breadboard, and then link the other end of the jumper wire to the red alligator clip. Attach the black jumper wire to the negative terminal of the breadboard, and then link the other end of the jumper wire to the black alligator clip. For this circuit, we will use a 1000 ohm resistor. Bend the wire ends of the resistor downward so they can be inserted into the breadboard. Insert one end of the resistor into the same column as the positive end. Attach the other end to the middle column. In the case of the Zener diode, the cathode or negative terminal, marked by a black band, is located on the right side. To enable the Zener diode to function as a voltage regulator, reverse its orientation to position the negative terminal on the left side. Bend the wire ends of the Zener diode downwards so they can be inserted into the breadboard. Insert one end of the diode into the same row as the resistor. Attach the other end to the same column as the negative terminal. Attach the other end of the red alligator clip to the positive terminal of the 9-volt battery. Attach the other end of the black alligator clip to the battery's negative terminal. Turn the dial on the multimeter to the voltage setting. Touch the red probe lead to the red alligator clip and the black probe lead to the black alligator clip. The reading should display around 9 volts. Touch the probe leads to the wire ends of the resistor. The reading is slightly less than the expected 4.9 volts which is fine. The Zener diode has a reading slightly higher than 5.1 volts which is also acceptable. Let's see what happens when we increase the power source to 45 volts, which is 5 9-volt batteries connected together. Connect the wires the same way as before. Given the higher voltage, reducing the current flow is necessary, which can be achieved by raising the resistor value. In our case, we'll be using a 5000 ohm resistor. Connect the Zener diode the same way in reverse biased mode.
Attach the 5 9 volt batteries to each other by connecting the positive terminal to the negative terminal. Upon touching the probe leads to the alligator clips, the measurement indicates a reading just over 45 volts, which is expected as the batteries are new, so they will have a slightly higher voltage. As you can see, the voltage across the Zener diode remains around 5.1 volts. The Zener diode maintains a relatively constant voltage of 5.1 volts when it's in reverse biased mode. This is how we can regulate voltage in a circuit. The voltage across the resistor is 42 volts, since the voltages of the Zener diode and the resistor have to add up to the voltage of the battery. Hopefully this video has explained what is a Zener diode. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.